है जो आ, उसके अराउंड काफी गेम्स डेवलप हो रहे हैं अभी गवर्नमेंट इज रिकॉग्नाइजिंग हमारी क्रिएटिविटी अरे सब कुछ मेरे आने के बाद क्या आपको फेस करना पड़ता है गेमिंग एंड गैमलिंग इन दोनों की लड़ाई आपके सामने आती होगी तब आप कैसे हैंडल करते हैं सर आर और स्किल बेस्ड गेमिंग को बहुत हाई टाइम गया की डिफ्रेंशिएट करे और क्या लगता है लड़कियों का इसमें आना कितना संभावना बढ़ती है जब मैंने शुरू किया था तो मेरे पास भी सौ दो सौ ऐसे लड़कियों के मैसेज आते हैं हमने आपको देख के स्टार्ट किया तो हमारे इंडिया में भी लड़कियां टेक फील्ड में और गेमिंग फील्ड में आगे आ रही हैं ये आप पहन दीजिए पहले तो बहुत जल्दी कैचअप कर रहे थे अगर मैं अपने पापा को भी सिखा रहा होता ना वो फर्स्ट ट्राई में इतना ज्यादा नहीं कर पाते गेम के साथ गेम खेल आई थिंक ये वंस इन लाइफ वाला एक चीज हो गया जो मैं आई थिंक कभी नहीं भूल पाऊंगी लोग को पुलिस पीएम को गेमर टैग देना चाहिए तो वो हमें क्या कहते हैं नमो ओपी Who is the biggest influencer in India? It's our prime minister. मैंने उल्टा दोस्तों में फैला दिया था कि खेलो मेरे साथ मैं बीमार हूँ तुम भी हो जाए लोग अब गेमिंग को एक अलग नजरिए से देखें आई थिंक इंडियन गेमिंग पीक मम्मी पापा तुम्हारा बेटा मोदी जी के साथ खेल गया है So you've seen that video that the Prime Minister's office has put out. It's incredible because it gives away a lot, and yet it doesn't give away a lot. And that full episode is going to come up in a couple of days from now. But some of the gamers who were in that lucky group that got to meet and spend time with the Prime Minister are with me live today to talk about that experience. And remember, uh, the people I have with me here on India today. are no small fry they're some of the most sought after most followed most respected gamers in the country who were hand picked to meet the prime minister and talk about something that's called gaming but it's a very serious business animesh agarwal also going by the name 8 bit thug pyal dhare pyal gaming and anshu bisht gamer fleet are three of the several gamers Uh, who were part of that interaction with the prime minister we will have mithilesh patankar or mitpat with us also in just a few minutes from now welcome guys good to have you here on india today payal i'll kick it off with you i want to know how it all started you know everyone's very very pleased with this video it's it's fabulous seeing gamers interacting with the prime ministers log bol rahe ki you know you know who does the prime minister not meet he's met gamers also now but first tell us how it all started payal started when i was in college and uh, i used to play with my friends they told me to start a youtube channel uh, do like uh, make videos and something but i was not sure about that uh, but initially it uh, it went out well and uh, i became a streamer and mm. i started uploading more videos doing live streams and covid helped me a lot and meeting the honorable prime minister is the biggest thing uh, it's yeah. actually so so real i can't explain in words and Still, I can't believe that it actually happened. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was actually unbelievable. Okay, it's unbelievable, and you know, I I want to tell all of our viewers, you know, because I I don't want to assume that all of our viewers know everything about gaming. Many of them may not know. Like, let me tell you that India has the largest gaming base on the planet. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Animesh, largest gaming base on the planet. So I'm actually not surprised. that the prime minister called you guys but i want to know how it happened how were you guys hand picked let me also tell all of our viewers that each of these guys animesh payal mithilesh and anshu they have hundreds of thousands of millions of followers on social media to aisa nahi hai ki they just some random gamers on the street these guys are the, these guys are the patron saints of gaming in india anshu how did it all start how did it all start with this interaction with the prime minister Thank you so much, Arusha, for having us here. And uh, it was actually a privilege to be there. I never thought that we would uh, we would meet the Prime Minister of India, the global <laughs> yeah. power himself. Uh, it was it was really surreal. I was I was about to faint when he entered the room. To be honest, <laughs> uh, till uh, till he didn't sit down with us, I was like, this is not real. We are mm-hmm. like because we are like we have worked very hard to get here. No no doubts in that. Uh, see i have worked a lot 
but uh, the thing that you get to like many people have worked hard but not everyone gets a chance to meet the prime minister and yeah. it was really good and he was very uh, how can i say this very uh, insightful of gaming as well and mm. being no disrespect but uh, being of his age he was really uh, you know uh, ready to learn uh, about gaming and even he knew a lot of things that uh, that we were supposed to teach him he was teaching us instead L like so, what like what like what so so we taught him uh, so we tried to uh, teach them a word uh, so uh, this is uh, gaming lingo like hmm. we say afk noob and everything so uh, when we tried to teach him like grind uh, i tried <laughs> he so knew all he, these words he already knew it <laughs> so uh, it was really surreal amazing uh, animesh another word that we saw that was used in this video was uh, you know op or op namo op or op boss I, before this broadcast even i didn't know what that stood for <laughs> in fact one of my producers had to google it and then she told me that it is for overpowered explain why you said namo op tell us why animesh yeah actually this is what this interview has done it has brought gaming to mainstream and that is why you know everyone it has become the talk of the country today and i believe that uh, when we speak of our prime minister the head of the state obviously the overpowered person who is leading the country right now so i believe i had to bring it to his notice one of our gaming lingo that resonates really well with his personality and the position what does it holds. mean what and does that, overpowered mean in overpowered gaming means like supreme powerful that? that's it uh, because oh, okay. for us in gaming it's like someone who is a really skilled and a great player or uh. one of the uh, features in the game that's really overpowering everyone else in the game and that is what the state uh, you know the head of our state is doing right now bringing india to the forefront globally and everything that's been done so definitely an overpowered number like I, like i was saying in the clip see you know see modi is very comfortable with young people ek to ye baat hai you know nobody ever sees any kind of discomfort or you know uh, uh, he, he, he you know he, his age does not show when he is with youngsters because he actually likes spending time with youngsters mithilesh did you also feel that maybe you were little bit nervous initially ki are prime minister hai wo to 70s mein hai you know he's such a big guy uh, you know and i'm i'm going to meet him i, mean, But I am sure that i am sure that within the first 30 seconds you didn't feel his age at all exactly like when we went there like we were obviously a little scared and all because yeah this was the first time such a big opportunity we got and uh, as soon as we entered the room and we were just sitting there waiting for him and then he came <laughs> and we all were honestly like very shocked like i think it, it took like almost like 5 to 10 minutes we were just absorbing like okay wait is this real like is this happening and <laughs> yeah. guys okay are we meeting not only one of the most important man in india but like globally so yeah. it was it was an insane experience like this is something i'm going to tell my grandchildren and going to be crazy like <laughs> I'm so happy. You know, I I loved one comment in this video where it said that yeah even my father has not gotten used to gaming as fast as as, as Modi has actually yeah. done it. Payal Payal in this very short tra trailer. You know, we actually see Modi doing a lot of things. वो वो headset पहनते हैं, उसके बाद वो mobile पे खेलते हैं, उसके बाद something else. You know, all sorts of cool tech stuff. How good was Modi at those games, Payal? Did he take to it easily? Was he good? Uh. So when we started playing the VR game, we uh, Animesh was uh, teaching him how to move the hands, how to uh, uh, like uh, crash those boxes. And once he just uh, grabbed those uh, VR sets, he started doing it by his. Uh, uh, he started doing by him uh, his himself. And mm. then when we switched to the PC, we played the game Raji, and mm -hmm. we didn't need need to explain him anything. He was going like using all the keys, using the mouse properly, using the mic, the calls, and everything. Then when he he played on the phone, it was also very good. Like he played like a pro player, and we use the yeah. terms like OP, you are a pro player. <laughs> and when we having the conversation, uh, when we having the conversation on the table, he said, "Mere to main baal kala ki hoye, main sab aapke age ka hi hu. Is pe mere baalo pe mar jana." So it was a very Very fun conversation uh, at the start. I was very nervous, but uh, within the time, his aura, his presence is very different in person, and he become very friendly, uh, friendly with us. Like he was talking like we are friends from so long. Yeah, yeah. Animesh, Animesh, you know, you made him play with that VR headset and all those things. You know, it's not easy. Let's face it, gaming. You know, gaming. you know it is called gaming it is about games and stuff but it's not easy it needs a certain level of skill it needs a certain level of getting used to it uh, you know most people even young people when they start playing games wo thoda time lagta hai are you telling me that modi just took to it like a fish to water he was yeah, playing I mean, games like, like 
I mean, like when you have a all-rounder prime minister, what else do you expect? You know, he has everything under his sleeve. He knows he has, like you said, it requires skill, and that's what is all about mm. skill. And he could grasp it really well. I mean, like I recall just teaching him once. That's how you had, need to just move your right hand here and left hand. Then he could just understood at once. And I think he had a, a good, decent score that I won't reveal now. Uh, but then mm. when the video comes out, I'm pretty sure <laughs> viewers would be excited to see. Uh, but yes, obviously, you know, he has grasp of things. Uh, very knowledgeable, very insightful. Uh, you know, and like he knows things that's the best part you know I, as mm. a young entrepreneur as a young gamer when i was speaking to him i realized that there's so many things to learn from him uh, rather than teaching him so i think it was yeah. a very mixed session of sharing uh, his experiences his knowledge and our part of gaming uh, industry you know you know modi uh, narendra modi for for many years has been very interested in new technologies you know learning things that are outside his comfort zone he's always demonstrated that he you know uh, he he's not scared of exploring new things and you know what can be more new or different from his sphere of work than gaming and young people and stuff and he spends a lot of re- uh, time with young people anshu what were the things that the prime minister said to you guys about the gaming industry kya sawal puche what questions did he ask that made you guys think ki you know the prime minister knows about gaming he wants to do something for us so uh, i cannot reveal the whole interview here that we had with prime minister sir like the discussion <laughs> we had <laughs> you'll see it in the video for sure but uh, it was really insightful to be honest like uh, before the before the discussion and everything i was very nervous i was uh, as i told you i was about to faint and it was <laughs> i mean many people will think i'm just making stuff up like saying are i will i was actually about to faint i'm not going to lie and mm. everyone around me comforted me uh, the po uh, the pmo people they comforted mm. me they said ki he is really chill with uh, teenagers and uh, uh, guys of your age but uh, you know he is the prime minister of india so <laughs> you'll be nervous in his presence of course but yes uh, but when he came in we were nervous for 5 minutes at max mm. Mm. then uh, when sir started talking to us and uh, the way the way he said things the way he uh, took our consideration uh, our things in consideration as well then he asked us many things which were very uh, interesting to be honest you'll see it in the uh, <laughs> video in the full sure. episode <laughs> yeah in the full episode uh, but yes it was really insightful and uh, very fun very fun yeah you know uh, mithilesh uh, lots of fun obviously in this video bahut masti hua you know that's very very visible the gaming and the you know the fun things but this is also a very serious thing you know the prime minister yeah. reaching out to you guys is also a very serious yeah. thing right he's the yeah. prime minister and uh, the fact that he has hand picked uh, you guys obviously means that he also wants to learn something and also wants to know what he can do for you guys so what Correct. did you tell Correct. him what did you guys tell him mithilesh so i think like uh, i'm i'm very happy about this that the the gaming industry will be taken like se- very very seriously right now because mm. like as mm. animesh also said in the video that i think the indian gaming industry peaked at this point because it's insane mm. how the prime minister has addressed gaming and gaming issues like he discussed about a lot of gaming problems and how do we take india's gaming industry forward like for example this one thing we spoke about during the interview was okay how do we you know promote indian game developers and what kind of games do we make in india so that we inspire yeah. you instead of you know not just including those action games where there there's only violence etc what kind of games can we make here in india which can also mm. teach youth and inspire you so i really like mm. that point mm. No, no, that's a very, very interesting point, and he also, uh, you know, I think in the trailer there's a little bit of an indication of that pile about, you know, that whole gaming versus gambling वाला जो 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 debate चल रहा है, उसमें भी the prime minister brought it up and he asked you guys that. That's a very important thing because India may sometimes, you know, perce- there are so many perceptions. I'll come to I'll come to what the prime minister has done for the world of gaming in just a moment. But pile that question that the prime minister asked on, you know, gaming versus gambling. Explain that to us and tell us what you said. Uh yeah, that question was raised by our PM, but Animesh mm. answered it very well, and he knows um like more about gaming and gambling, the difference between, and he can explain much better than me, I guess. Okay, Animesh, you want to answer that gaming versus gambling? The Prime Minister, you know, had done his homework and he asked you that question. Exactly, I think you know he did his homework and it was a very interesting and a question, right? Uh, I would say at Bullseye, 
I believe that it's all about perception, like you mentioned. I think uh, it's more about uh, educating the masses that what mm. we are doing, the way we are playing games, the way we are representing India in esports tournaments, the way gaming has become a part of events like Asian Games, Commonwealth, and soon uh, in Olympics as well. I think this is the perception that people need to understand that gaming mm. has a long, long uh, has a very big industry, and there are many caveats and verticals to it. And the gaming and the part of the vertical that we represent has no. I would say I won't say has nothing bad to it but is one of the very great and promising uh, professions that would uh, you know bring I would say empower the youth in coming years in India so I think that is the yeah. main uh, difference that you know the uh, gaming in the, the part of the gaming industry that we represent has mm. too, so much to it that the youth should embrace and uh, the perception of the masses need to change you know, one of the great things about gaming right now is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Anshu, which is that, you know, for, for many years, you know, your generation has made gaming in many ways a respectable, viable, you know, profession. You can do it full time like all of you guys are. In the previous generations, gaming was looked at very suspiciously. Yeah, ye, ye to full time kaam nahi ho sakta hai. Isme kya karoge? You know, people looked at it with a little bit of suspicion also, ki kya ye gaming hai ya gambling hai. Today, by the Prime Minister actually calling you guys and putting the spotlight on the industry, wo ek, ek, ek validation mil gaya hai. I'm not Poor saying sure. that you guys, I'm not saying you guys need any validation because you guys have proven with your amazing work that nobody can give you guys any certificates. I am just saying that by spending this time and calling the kind of national attention to gaming, the Prime Minister has given a kind of validation. Would you agree with me? For sure, for sure. Uh... PM has given us this opportunity and uh, like just saying that all of us gamers were there in a round table uh, with mm. our prime minister was uh, really a big thing and for sure it was a validation. See, uh, where I come from, I am from a very <coughs> humble background. So my father used to be a bus conductor and like uh, we had like there were financial problems as well so yeah. when i was when i was doing youtube i was gaming and i'm i'm pretty damn sure that most of the people here have gone through uh, such situations so when i when i used to stream and game uh, like uh, make videos of games so my father used to think that what is he doing he's shouting at the computer whole day so i had to do a lot of jobs and everything with that but uh, see, after I made it, after I uh, after I started, you proved your money, you proved your point. Yes, yes, yes. After I proved my point, my father and everyone was happy. But I had to prove my parents a point, uh, and it took around five years for me. I I've been in this industry for almost seven years and more. But I, but it took me five years to uh, like at least prove a point that yes, I can earn from it. I can make a decent living and everything. But uh, see, uh, Honorable Prime Minister, sir, with just one meeting with us, have proved this point to many households, for sure. He has, uh, was, he has validated our point. Very true, because, you know, pa parents yes. and families around the country, Anshu, will also be seeing this saying, Are, Prime Minister ne, uh, 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 in, uh, you know, has met with these gamers and given them so much, uh, you know, respect and welcomed them into his home and spent time with him. This means that... Shayad, our perception about gaming is little wrong and we need to educate see, yourself. See, but I we, want... we, we as YouTubers and gamers, we don't we don't blame our parents or anyone's parents for not supporting us correct, while correct, we are doing correct. YouTube and everything because they are from an era where they didn't even have phones, cell phones to yeah, begin with. Yeah. See, uh, and, and so... you know, I, I actually I actually want to add to that, Anshu, and then I'll go yes, to the others yes. once again, which is, you know, uh, 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 Narendra Modi also comes from very humble origins. You know, when you said yes, your father yes. is a bus conductor, yes. Narendra Modi used to sell chai on a railway station platform. He's the Pradhan Mantri of the country today. Did you feel yes. that kind of connect? Did you feel that kind of, you know, he has come from nothing and achieved so much? Yes, 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 for sure, for sure. But see... He's the Prime Minister of India. So when he sits next to you, you feel the power. Like, I maybe maybe people will think I'm exaggerating things, but I hope you get like get this opportunity one day. But when you do, it will it's, it will surreal. I, 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 I hope so. I hope so. Mithilesh, you want to add to that? The surreal yeah, yeah, experience I mean, I, I, I don't know, like, and the I Prime Minister like coming it. from nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that is obviously true. But like, I want to add to the point of Anshu. It's just like that experience that we had. It's like, uh, so the room obviously was well lit and there were all these lights of cameras and everything. But when he came inside the room, it just felt like room mein ek aur light a a hai. It just felt like the room just became brighter. I don't know for some reason. It's mm. the aura or something. I don't know. <laughs> it was great. Yeah.
No, no, I, I can totally imagine. And, you know, the Prime Minister, I've had some brief interactions with the Prime Minister. It's very true. He's very charming. He's, yeah. you know, he's able to, uh, you know... And he uh, definitely uh, understands the youth. And, one, you know, one thing oh, yeah, I really oh, want yeah. to tell is that uh, when we were introducing ourselves, like when he mm. came and he uh, he spoke to us for the first time and he was we were introducing ourselves, Animesh actually introduced himself and then he was talking for almost like 10 minutes and I was worried, wait, am I going to get a chance to actually tell about myself, my story? And, you know, because we had like limited time, but he literally gave all of us equal amount of time and he spoke to us like, like he gave us good good amount of time and heard our stories and then we moved on to the gaming segment and all of that. So, so, I, so you know, it, like, I, I really liked the fact that he gave us time. You know, it's very interesting, guys, because now it's the election ka season. Hai, and, you know, the political rivals of Modi say, ye bhashan dene mein, uh, you know, they, he likes giving speeches, he doesn't like listening. You, you, guys are, you, you guys have had a different experience. He listened to each one of you, you're saying. Answer, yeah, he sir. gives a lot of yes, time. Pile, pile, pile. I think he yeah, listens sorry? when it's necessary. Yeah, yeah. And, pile, pile, uh, yes. You will see when the whole episode will come out, he gave a lot of time to us. And he was like... हमें ऐसा लग रहा था कि हमारे साथ एक हमारा साथ का प्लेयर ही एक फ्रेंड ही है जो हमारे साथ गेम खेल रहा है इट इज एंड फेल्ट लाइक कि वी आर सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू द पी एम एंड टॉकिंग टू एंड प्लेइंग गेम्स विद हिम आल्सो ही रेज अ लॉट ऑफ पॉइंट्स फॉर द फीमेल गेमर्स एंड द फीमेल कम्युनिटी एंड ही या ही आज मी अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ फीमेल गेमर्स हाउस हाउस द एनवायरमेंट हाउस द इंडस्ट्री वर्किंग सो यू कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ इनसाइट्स इन दैट एपिसोड एंड मोर ओवर आई कैन रिलेट अ लॉट एज यू सेड अबाउट द जर्नी ऑफ आर पी एम आई एम ऑल्सो फ्रॉम अ वेरी small town i'm from a very middle class family and uh, i don't have a brother and i am the one who runs the family so yeah it feels very great to be at this point and uh, being at the television being uh, sitting next to the pm and talking about my profession what i'm doing and uh, everybody is taking gaming very seriously and taking it as a profession now and i think jab hum log ne start kiya tha gaming ko bahut lightly liya jata tha because of the resources because resources bahut kam the internet nahi tha but within the time it raised and we have a good internet connection like cheaper internet and good devices cheapest everything. in the world cheapest yeah, internet right. in the world it's yes. crazy so, I, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah please com com complete your point pal yeah so i think uh, after the episode will come out the, after the conversation a lot of emerging gamers will pursue this as a career and a lot of uh, new uh, upcoming gamers look look at us uh, lo uh, look to up, uh, look to us and uh, they will feel that yeah we can do something out of it we can make something out of it and uh, they can show their families that agar ye log wahan pe pahunch sakte hai to hum log bhi apne gaming career mein kuch kar sakte hai you know what what you guys who met the prime minister have basically proven is that gaming is not a hobby gaming is not a pastime gaming is a career it's a profession you know you can yeah, forget sure. about ind being independent you can actually be very well off and leave a, lead a very very comfortable life uh, uh, you know by being a gamer and the four of you and the others who met the prime minister have proven that animesh before i come to you i want to just read out some you know some small statistics because hum validation ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain let me validate it a little bit more by telling you about some facts you guys obviously know this this is for my viewers india by the way is the largest gaming market in the world boasting a user base of at least 568 million gamers and over 9.5 billion gaming app downloads in the year 2023 uh, this is uh, according to a recent report published in a newspaper the gaming industry and hold your you know hold on to your seat belts for this viewer the gaming industry in india will almost double in value to 6 billion dollars 6 billion dollars by 2028 so you know lots of fun and games animesh you know hasi khel all that is fine but this is a huge business you know this is going to be a this is going to not only is it already part of india's economy but the potential for it to be a bigger part of the indian economy is even more so i am i am curious to know animesh what did you seek from the prime minister as gamers as part of the community and the industry aapne kya manga prime minister se ki kya kar sakte hain gamers ke liye definitely i had some concerns you know we do have concerns of, around the policy making and ease of business but definitely him being our prime minister he knows it all it was hmm. created i could enlighten him with some of technical problems but then you know just like how he is he obviously asked us to write to him eventually and then you know uh, present him with our problems and he did mention it here him and his entire team would think over it i believe there were some key issues that were raised which would definitely come out in the episode hmm. but yeah like with his open mindedness he wanted to hear us all out
I'm going to leave it there for now because uh, I don't want to get into too many things so that, you know, the suspense of the wonderful episode is lost. But I can tell you that I completely agree with all of you that uh, young Indians watching, watching this interview are going to think, ki, you know, gaming is not a hobby. I can do this, you know, if I'm good at something and I follow it with a certain degree of passion, even if my parents don't particularly approve of it, I can prove my point and actually follow it. And what greater layer of respectability could there possibly be that Prime Minister Modi himself inviting you all, felicitating you all, spending time with you all, and of course being the Namo Op in front of you all. Mm -hmm. And in my view, all of you are also uh, Ops, okay? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but That's OP, thank you guys. OP, thank you. OP, 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 not Ops. Yeah. See, OP this, this shows how out of touch I am with gaming, but yeah, OP, <laughs> sorry guys. So yeah. it's Animesh OP, Payal OP, Mithilesh OP, and Anshu OP. Thank you very, very much for being with us here on India Today, guys. Thank you and all the very best and looking forward to hearing more from you guys. Well, that's a wrap on this special broadcast with those gamers right here on India Today. Thanks for watching. The news continues on the other side. You are watching India Today. Intelligence meets art. Motorola H50 Pro. Hello, Moto. An unparalleled election coverage with the team that wins every election. From unmatched on ground reporting to real time poll updates. Stay tuned to the Maximum Channel for the maximum coverage. Platinum partner, signature finest silver elaichi, a premium product from Dilbag. Sir, 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 you are so colorful, ho. but how can colorful be powerful? Follow me. Dhrup ke pasi ne chhut jayenge, lekin ye data rahega. Dulux Weather Shield Power Flex. Its color is red, 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 and red. It's colorful. It's powerful. Dulux, Dulux, Dulux. Manakam Namaskar! Attack! This time also, 40 to 40. Jai Lalita still leader number one for you. She is Iron Lady! She is Iron Lady? Butterbell beat the heat. That's the secret of Honey's success. Next CSK franchise. Auction price 2 crores. Chennai special fish. Red snapper. Look at the line. Anna's coconut sherbet. Super! BMK is going to sweep. कांग्रेस ने हाथ खड़े कर दिए थे कांग्रेस दशकों तक गरीबी हटाओ का नारा देती रही लेकिन मोदी ने 25 करोड़ देशवासियों को गरीबी से बाहर निकालने का काम किया कांग्रेस ने किसानों को उनके हाल पर छोड़ दिया लेकिन भाजपा सरकार निरंतर किसानों को समृद्ध बनाने के लिए काम कर रही है आज देश के 10 करोड़ किसानों को पीएम किसान सम्मान निधि मिल रही है करौली धौलपुर के सवा तीन लाख से ज्यादा किसानों के खाते में भी 700 करोड़ रुपए से अधिक भेजे गए हैं मेक योर मीडिया प्लान स्मार्टर विद इंडिया टुडे लाइव टीवी ऑन योर कनेक्टेड डिवाइसेज 
Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjthug.com. You are watching India Today. Elon Musk is headed to India. Big buzz over big boom biz. Is Musk driving Tesla into India? Tesla, Twitter, SpaceX, Neuralink and more. Tycoon begins his tryst with Bharat. Top gear towards the big Modi Musk Millen. The big He's one of the richest men in the world, but he hasn't always had an easy relationship with India. Tesla, for instance, is not in India yet, and India happens to be one of the biggest automotive markets in the world. Well, Elon Musk has tweeted that he's looking forward to meeting with Prime Minister Modi. We hear it's going to be happening any time in the next few days towards the end of April and there's a huge amount hanging on what this meeting could be about. Take a look at this report. India saw the signs early on, back in 2015, prioritizing renewal and alternative energy sources. I am a fan of Modi, so, <laughs> so I have to say that. Led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, India has attracted Tesla with its potential for sustainable energy. As India gears up for the general elections, Elon Musk is preparing to visit the country to meet Prime Minister Modi. Now, Elon Musk himself has confirmed that he will be meeting Prime Minister Modi. Sources familiar with the matter suggest that Tesla CEO could visit India as early as this month. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually incredibly excited about the future of India. I think uh, India um, has more promise than any large country in the world. Well, I think there's, there's a tremendous amount of uh, potential uh, for all three pillars of the um, sustainable energy future. Uh, the, th the three pillars being uh, sustainable energy generation through solar and wind primarily. And obviously India is great for solar. It's anticipated that Musk will announce plans to invest and establish a new factory in India. India has already slashed import taxes on some electric vehicle models from 100% to 15%, provided the manufacturer invests at least $500 million and sets up a factory. Tesla's potential entry coincides with decreasing demand for EVs in its primary US and Chinese markets, and increasing competition from Chinese automakers. Setting up a manufacturing plant in India would necessitate an investment of about $2 billion. Tesla has already initiated production of right-hand drive cars at its German plant for export. India's business-friendly environment attracts global investors, fostering factory setups and job creation. Bureau Report, India Today. Well, the biggest buzz over the Modi Musk Millen and his arrival in India, Elon Musk's arrival in India, is the possibility that there will be clarity over Elon Musk's long-anticipated plans to build an electric vehicle manufacturing hub here in India. Tesla, remember, hasn't had a footprint in India just yet. The fact is India is on the threshold of becoming a global hub for electric vehicles, something it has been late to the game about because China has become a huge hub Thankfully for India, the world does not like Chinese electric vehicles very much, even though they are large in number because they are cheap but very, very substandard. It's a huge opportunity for India. Could Elon Musk be the big catalyst for it? All set to visit India this month, Tesla chief Elon Musk could announce investment plans to manufacture EVs in the country. 
If it happens, it will be a shot in the arm for India's efforts to become a key EV hub. India's rapidly growing EV market is projected to account for over 40% of the total automotive market and generate over $100 billion in revenue by 2030. India announced a new EV policy last month that will reduce import duties on some models from 100% to 15% provided a company spends at least $500 million and establishes a facility. I never say no to Elon Musk. I tell him that you are welcome in India. But if only if you want to manufacture in China and only you want to sell in India, then you will not get the concessions. If you come to India, you start manufacturing here, sell the car, you are welcome, we are waiting for you. Reports suggest Musk is also evaluating the possibility of setting up a joint venture with Reliance Industries. The latest developments come days after U.S. Secretary of Treasury Janet Yellen concluded a four-day-long visit to China, warning Beijing to scale back its EV production to avoid flooding the market. And when the global market is flooded by artificially cheap Chinese products, the viability of American and other foreign firms is put into question. And we've seen this story before. Over a decade ago, massive PRC government support led to below-cost Chinese steel that flooded the global market and decimated industries across the world and in the United States. I've made clear that President Biden and I will not accept that reality again. Once Tesla officials enter India, it will not just create job opportunities, but will also lead to reduced prices, making Tesla EVs more affordable for the Indian consumers. Will we now finally see Teslas on Indian roads? Bureau Report, India Today. Well, for most auto enthusiasts, and I'm not even beginning with the economic experts, is the Tesla tryst. Tesla is one big car brand that simply hasn't and conspicuously hasn't had a footprint here in India. Is Tesla about to make those tire tracks in Bharat finally? Watch this report by India Today's Ayush. <laughs> Musk is set to touch down in India. That's right, the Tesla CEO has announced that he will meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi in India later this month. The tech billionaire is expected to announce his investment plans and a mega factory in India. Musk is likely to make an India investment of nearly $3 billion that could go up to $10 billion as the company grows in the world's third largest automotive market. Tesla, the world's largest EV manufacturer, has been trying to get access to the Indian market for several months, as the company has reported an awful quarter of sales owing to supply chain issues and slowing EV demand in China and the US. For months, Tesla has lobbied with the Indian government to lower the import taxes on electric vehicles in order to facilitate its entry into India. Back in 2019, for the first time, Tesla asked the Indian government to lower import duties. Historically, India imposed steep import duties on electric vehicles, reaching up to 100% for luxury cars like Tesla. This made Tesla cars extremely... Elon Musk has been vocal about his plans for a manufacturing plant in India, but with one stringent condition only if import duties are lowered. He has argued that this sort of concession would help establish the brand and build demand before they could scale up on local manufacturing. But the plot took an interesting turn last month when the Indian government introduced a new EV policy that lowers the import taxes to as low as 15% on some models, given that a manufacturer invests at least $500 million and also sets up its factory in the country. Reports indicate that Tesla officials will be visiting India this month and are considering the states of Maharashtra, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu to set up their manufacturing unit. This facility requires an investment of nearly $2 billion. 
Reports also suggest that Tesla may be scouting for a local partner to set up its operations in India. It's no secret that Tesla has recently begun production of right-hand drive cars at its German plant for export to India later this year. Hinting towards the entry of Tesla in India, Musk recently tweeted, India should have electric cars like every other country has electric cars. It's a natural progression to provide Tesla electric vehicles in India. The explosive growth story of India's tech and auto sectors makes it one of the most attractive and lucrative markets for EV manufacturers. But does that mean Teslas are about to take off on Indian roads? Will Elon finally set up a factory in India? What does this mean for existing players like Tata, MG and Mahindra? Well, we can only hope that we have definitive answers to all these questions come April 22nd. Bureau Report, India Today. As two people with very, very strong personalities, the question obviously arises, what kind of body language do Elon Musk and Narendra Modi actually enjoy? Well, when they meet on April the 22nd in Delhi, it won't be their first meeting. The last time Modi and Musk met was in June last year. And at that time, there was pretty good body language. Take a look at the Modi-Musk bonhomie and whether it will be repeated this time as well. I am a fan of Modi, so... <laughs> Billionaire, visionary, world's richest man. And latest addition to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's large fan list. Tesla chief and Twitter owner Elon Musk confessed that he's a big fan of Prime Minister Narendra Modi after he met him in New York. I am a fan of Modi, so, <laughs> so I have to say that. Musk richly lauded Modi's transformation of India. I can say he, um, he's, he's, he really wants to do the right thing for India. Uh, he wants to be open, he wants to be supportive of new companies. Um, and obviously, but in the same time, make sure um, it accrues to India's advantage. Endorsing Prime Minister's vision for India, Musk, who has been scouting for location of Tesla's next factory, hinted at his next possible foray into India. Obviously, India is great for solar. Um, and. Um, the amount of land area you actually need to generate enough uh, electricity to power India is, is very small. I, I believe it would be probably let 1 or 2% of the land area of India. So it's, it's very doable. Um, and then you need to pair that with uh, stationary battery packs uh, because the sun doesn't shine at night. And then you need electric vehicles. And then you have a sustainable energy future. Uh, when I spoke to Elon Musk uh, soon after his meeting with Prime Minister Modi, he's confirmed on record that Tesla will be investing. He himself will be coming uh, to India next year. And that uh, Tesla is looking to collaborate around SpaceX and invest in manufacturing in India. Now, the specific nature of the investment uh, not explained at the moment. But just the fact that Elon Musk has himself confirmed that Tesla will be investing in India after meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi would count as one of the big wins. Modi appreciated Musk's efforts at making cutting-edge technology accessible and affordable for the masses. Your reaction to Jack Dorsey's statement, Elon? <laughs> Speaking exclusively to India today, Musk trained guns on ex-Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, who had claimed gag order by Modi government. India is a, is a country that um, had many requests of us around the farmers' protest, around particular journalists that were critical of the government. Um, and uh, uh, it manifested in ways such as we will shut Twitter down in India, which is a very large market for us. Uh, we will raid the homes of your employees, which they did. Um, we will shut down your offices um, if you don't follow suit. And this is... India. But one cannot just apply, uh, uh, you know, America to Earth because Earth is not, they have different rules and regulations and different forms of government. So, but we'll do the best to, to provide uh, the, the freest uh, speech that is possible under the law. After the much-awaited Modi Musk meet, all eyes will be on Musk's business venture in India. With Geeta Mohan and Rahul Kawal in New York, Bureau Report, India Today. Not surprisingly, Elon Musk happens to figure on virtually every list of the world's most influential people. From his start in South Africa, 
to becoming a tech mogul behind some of the world's most influential visible companies, including Tesla, Neuralink, SpaceX, and many, many more. The rise of Elon Musk is one of the biggest stories of our time, without a doubt. Take a look. He is a billionaire. He is one of the world's richest men who sells clean energy, green cars, and travels to space. His endeavors are futuristic and driven by science. A Stanford PhD dropout, Elon Musk has been an entrepreneur from the very beginning. His first startup was co-founded with his brother Kimball Musk. The brothers parted ways after their software company Zip2 was acquired by Compaq for $307 million in 1999. While the elder of the Musk brothers stuck to computers and softwares, Kimball Musk today is an entrepreneur focused on trying to change America's food culture. Mostly just this they come from a different lineage. Their maternal grandfather, Joshua Haldeman, was an adventurous American-born Canadian who took his family on a record-breaking journey in a single-engine Belanca aeroplane from Africa to Australia. Elon Musk's father, Errol Musk, is a South African electromechanical engineer, pilot, sailor, consultant and property developer who was once a half-owner of a Zambian emerald mine near Lake Tanganyika. Elon Musk's parents divorced when he was 10. His mother, May, has two masters of science degrees. Practiced as a dietitian and worked on the side as a model to pay bills as a single mother. His first cousins, Lyndon and Peter Rive, are the founders of solar energy service company, Solar City. But Elon Musk is the most famous of the clan. Thanks to his mad scientist way and the peatless buzz surrounding the company, he's dreamed up from PayPal to electric car maker Tesla Motors to aerospace manufacturer SpaceX. In December 2021, he declared on Twitter that he wanted to quit. A month later, he started to buy shares of Twitter almost on daily batches. He is a voracious speaker and in one of his talks in May 2021, he revealed having Asperger's syndrome. Elon Musk married twice and fathered seven children. Five from his first wife and two from his last partner. All the buzz on Elon Musk and that Modi meeting will be right here on India Today in the build-up. Thanks for watching. The news continues right here on India Today. Bastar, the tribal heartland, is one of the hot seats in Chhattisgarh. The constituency is going to polls in the first phase on 19th of April. Mahesh Kashyap is certainly not known in the masses and that's when the big question arises. When Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the superstar campaigner, comes to campaign for his leader here in Bastar, more than 80,000 people turn up. And that's when the question arises. Is it going to be Kavasi Lakuma versus Mahesh Kashyap or 
Is there a Modi twist in the political tale of Bastar? Watch this ground report. Congress candidate from the seat is Kawasi Lakma, who's often embroiled in controversies with his political statement, but he enjoys a massive tribal support. His entertaining campaign has earned him the title of Chhattisgarh ka Lalu Prasad Yadav. On the other side is Mahesh Kashyap, an aggressive Hindutva face. He earned the trust of the BJP's top leadership with his work to stop religious conversions in his tribal pocket. Train ham ko provide kara de. Ye Modi se bhi mera vishesh nivedan hai ki Jagdalpur mein kam se kam ek do train. Uska benefit ek sabse bada ye hai ki ek to hamara expenses kam ho jayega. Agar fir sarkar bante to mujhe lagta hai ki Pradhan Mantri jo adhure kam hai wo pura karenge. Bilkul. Aur Hindu hit mein bahut sare faisle honge. और नक्सलियों का जहां तक है जब तक सरकार पूरे मन से काम नहीं करेगी मुझे नहीं लगता कि नक्सल का कोई मतलब हल निकल, हल निकल पाएगा द बीजेपी हैड बीन विनिंग बस्तर फ्रॉम 1998 टू 2019 द कांग्रेस इज दीपक बेज वन द सीट बाय अ मार्जिन ऑफ अबाउट 40000 वोट्स इन द प्रीवियस इलेक्शन कैन द सैफरन पार्टी रिक्लेम द छत्तीसगढ़ बास्टियन अगेन विद धर्मेंद्र महापात्रा and video journalist Raghavendra Pandey Sumi Keval Patel for India Today About 120 days ago the Congress party had promised six guarantees to be delivered in 100 days Today I don't think they have the face uh, you know uh, to actually come forward and really explain to people on what they have delivered in terms of six guarantees Everybody across the nation today knows that Congress party as a political party will not cross 50 seats in the entire country put together so there's no question of the congress party coming to power if if at all there is any hope for this country it is the strong regional leaders like ksr like stalin ji like didi like arvind kejriwal who can withhold bjp and who can withhold the congress party my humble appeal to the people of this nation and my state also is both national parties today who have been given enough opportunities in the last 76 years have let us down now is the time to actually look at regional parties you are watching india today And from all of us here in the India Today newsroom, wishing all of our viewers Eid Mubarak. We're leaving you with these amazing pictures of the one and only Shah Rukh Khan wishing Eid Mubarak from his balcony to his thousands and millions of fans. Enjoy these pictures. Thanks for watching.